Hello, everybody. This week we are talking about the life cycle of a chicken. That means we are learning how baby chicks are born, how they hatch from eggs and grow up to become mummy hens and daddy roosters and have chicks of their own. Now, chicks are not the only ones. There are other animals which are born out of eggs. But do you know which ones those are? Are they horses, ducks, pigs, goats? Now here is a book in which we are going to find out about that. And the book has a title, Egg Day. Now I don't know what Egg Day is, so let's read and find out. Egg Day, written by Joyce Dunbar and illustrated, that means pictures are done by Jane Cabrera. Dora, the duck, said to Pogson, the pig, Tomorrow is Egg Day. What's Egg Day? asked Pogson. We are having a best egg competition said Dora. But what can I bring? asked Poxen. A pig egg, said Dora. And she waddled over to tell Humphrey, the horse. Now Dora apparently thinks that everybody is born out of an egg. But I don't think that's the case with pigs. Tomorrow is egg day, said Dora. What's Egg Day? asked Humphrey. We are having a best egg competition, said Dora. But what can I bring? said Humphrey. A horse egg, said Dora. And she waddled over to tell Gideon, the goat. Now, I don't think that horses are born out of an egg either. Tomorrow is Egg Day, said Dora. What's Egg Day? asked Gideon. We are having a best egg competition, said Dora. But what can I bring? asked Gideon. A goat egg, said Dora. And she waddled back to her nest. Where will I get a pig egg? Pogson the pig asked Humphrey the horse. Where will I get a horse egg? Humphrey the horse asked Gideon the goat. Where will I get a goat egg? Gideon the goat asked himself. We must all try to lay one, said Pogson. And so they did try. Oink, 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 went Pogson trying to lay a pig egg. Nay, nay, went Humphrey trying to lay a horse egg. Blah, 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 went Gideon trying to lay a goat egg. And they made a truly dreadful noise. Hetty the hen came to see what the matter was. What's all the fuss? she asked. It's egg day tomorrow, said Pogson. I'm trying to lay a pig egg. Ah, uh, but pigs don't lay eggs, said Hetty. Pigs have piglets, and you're not even a saw. That is mummy pig, you see. And I am trying to lay a horse egg, said Humphrey. But horses don't lay eggs, said Hetty. Horses have foals. And you're not even a mare. Mare is mummy horse and foals are baby horse horses. 
And I am trying to lay a goat egg," said Gideon. "But goats don't lay eggs," said Hetty. "Goats have kids, and you're a billy goat, not a nanny goat. That means he can only be a daddy goat, not mommy goat." "But Dora says it's egg day tomorrow," said Poxon. "Ah,、uh, what's egg day?" Asked Hetty, "We are having a best egg competition," said Pogson, "and we all have to take an egg."、Uh, "Wait here a moment," said Hetty, "and I'll see what I can find in my coop." That's the house in which chickens live. Hetty came back with three eggs. "Here's one for you." She said to Parkson, "Give it a short, curly tail, and it will look like a pig egg." Here's one for you, Humphrey," said Hetty. "Give it a hairy brown mane, and it will look like a horse egg." What about me?" said Gideon. "Here's one for you, Gideon. Give it a curved pair of horns." And it will look like a goat egg," said Hetty. So they all went away with their eggs. In the morning, they met up again. Hetty was last to arrive. "Happy Egg Day!" they said to one another, proudly showing off their eggs. Hetty seemed the proudest of all. As she showed them a beautiful, smooth, speckled egg, I laid this especially. She clucked. Where's Dora? Let's go and find Dora," said Humphrey. And they went along to the hayloft where Dora had made her nest. Dora, Dora," called Puxen. "It's egg day today." Come and see my pig egg. My pig egg has a short curly tail, and my horse egg has a hairy brown mane. Called Humphrey, and my goat egg has a curved pair of horns. Called Gideon, and my hen egg is smooth with brown speckles. Called Hetty. There was silence for a while, and then Dora started to quack. "Um, I've changed my mind," said Dora. "It isn't egg day any more." "Well, what day is it?" asked Poxon. "It's Duckling Day," Dora quacked proudly. And she lifted up her wing so that the animals could peep underneath. And there was a little duckling. Well, you can guess who had the best duckling of all. Why, of course, Dora, because her baby has just hatched out of an egg. So I guess we all know that hens and ducks do lay eggs, but horses, pigs, and goats don't. I hope you enjoyed the book, and see you next time.